Coombs Test, Wikipedia article audio. A Coombs test is either of two clinical blood tests used in immunohematology and immunology. The two Coombs tests are the direct Coombs test, and the indirect Coombs test. The direct Coombs test is used to test for autoimmune hemolytic anemia, i.e., a condition of a low count of red blood cells caused by immune system lysis or breaking of RBC membranes causing RBC destruction. Mechanism Direct Coombs test In certain diseases or conditions, an individual's blood may contain IgG antibodies that can specifically bind to antigens on the RBC surface membrane and their circulating RBCs can become coated with IgG alloantibodies and slash or IgG autoantibodies. Complement proteins may subsequently bind to the bound antibodies and cause RBC destruction. The direct Coombs test is used to detect the antibodies or complement proteins that are bound to the surface of red blood cells. A blood sample is taken and the RBCs are washed and then incubated with anti-human globulin. If this produces agglutination of RBCs, the direct Coombs test is positive, a visual indication that antibodies are bound to the surface of red blood cells. The indirect Coombs test is used in prenatal testing of pregnant women and in testing blood prior to a blood transfusion. It detects antibodies against RBCs that are present unbound in the patient's serum. In this case, serum is extracted from the blood sample taken from the patient. Then, the serum is incubated with RBCs of known antigenicity, that is, RBCs with known reference values from other patient blood samples. Finally, anti-human globulin is added. If agglutination occurs, the indirect Coombs test is positive. The two Coombs tests are based on the fact that anti-human antibodies, which are produced by immunizing non-human species with human serum, will bind to human antibodies, commonly IgG or IgM. Animal anti-human antibodies will also bind to human antibodies that may be fixed onto antigens on the surface of red blood cells, and in the appropriate test tube conditions this can lead to agglutination of RBCs. The phenomenon of agglutination of RBCs is important here, because the resulting clumping of RBCs can be visualized. When clumping is seen the test is positive and when clumping is not seen the test is negative. Common clinical uses of the Coombs test include the preparation of blood for transfusion in cross-matching, atypical antibodies in the blood plasma of pregnant women as part of antenatal care, and detection of antibodies for the diagnosis of immune-mediated hemolytic anemias. Examples of diseases that give a positive direct Coombs test Coombs tests are performed using RBCs or serum from venous whole blood samples which are taken from patients by venipuncture. The venous blood is taken to a laboratory, where trained scientific technical staff do the Coombs tests. The clinical significance of the result is assessed by the physician who requested the Coombs test perhaps with assistance from a laboratory-based hematologist. The direct Coombs test is used to detect if antibodies or complement system factors have bound to RBC's surface antigens in vivo. The data is not currently required for pre-transfusion testing but may be included by some laboratories. Examples of Alloimmune Hemolysis the direct Coombs test is used clinically when immune-mediated hemolytic anemia is suspected. A positive Coombs test indicates that an immune mechanism is attacking the patient's own RBCs. This mechanism could be autoimmunity, alloimmunity, or a drug-induced immune-mediated mechanism. The patient's RBCs are washed and then centrifuged with anti-human globulin. 
if immunoglobulin or complement factors have been fixed onto the RBC surface in vivo, the anti-human globulin will agglutinate the RBCs and the direct Coombs test will be positive. Examples of autoimmune hemolysis slash immunohemolytic hemolysis The indirect Coombs test is used to detect in vitro antibody antigen reactions. It is used to detect very low concentrations of antibodies present in a patient's plasma slash serum prior to a blood transfusion. In antenatal care, the IAT is used to screen pregnant women for antibodies that may cause hemolytic disease of the newborn. The IAT can also be used for compatibility testing, antibody identification, RBC phenotyping, and titration studies. Drug-induced immune-mediated hemolysis The indirect Coombs test is used to screen for antibodies in the preparation of blood for blood transfusion. The donor's and recipient's blood must be ABO and RHD compatible. Donor blood for transfusion is also screened for infections in separate processes. Laboratory Method a blood sample from the recipient and a blood sample from every unit of donor blood are screened for antibodies with the indirect Coombs test. Each sample is incubated against a wide range of RBCs that together exhibit a full range of surface antigens. The indirect Coombs test is used to test a sample of the recipient's serum for antibodies against a sample of the blood donor's RBCs. This is sometimes called cross-matching blood. Indirect Coombs Test The indirect Coombs test is used to screen pregnant women for IgG antibodies that are likely to pass through the placenta into the fetal blood and cause hemolytic disease of the newborn. The IAT is a two-stage test. Washed test red blood cells are incubated with a known human serum. If the serum contains antibodies to antigens on the RBC surface, the antibodies will bind onto the surface of the RBCs. The RBCs are washed three or four times with isotonic saline solution and then incubated with anti-human globulin. If antibodies have bound to RBC surface antigens in the first stage, RBCs will agglutinate when incubated with the anti-human globulin in this stage, and the indirect Coombs test will be positive. By diluting a serum containing antibodies the quantity of the antibody in the serum can be gauged. This is done by using doubling dilutions of the serum and finding the maximum dilution of test serum that is able to produce agglutination of relevant RBCs. Examples of clinical uses of the indirect Coombs test Coombs reagent is used in both the direct Coombs test and the indirect Coombs test. Coombs reagent is anti-human globulin. It is made by injecting human globulin into animals, which produce polyclonal antibodies specific for human immunoglobulins and human complement system factors. More specific Coombs reagents or monoclonal antibodies can be used. Blood transfusion preparation Both IgM and IgG antibodies bind strongly with their antigens. IgG antibodies are most reactive at 37 degrees Celsius. IgM antibodies are easily detected in saline at room temperature as IgM antibodies are able to bridge between RBC sewing to their large size, efficiently creating what is seen as agglutination. IgG antibodies are smaller and require assistance to bridge well enough to form a visual agglutination reaction. Reagents used to enhance IgG detection are referred to as potentiators. RBCs have a net negative charge called zeta potential which causes them to have a natural repulsion for one another. Potentiators reduce the zeta potential of RBC membranes. Common potentiators include low ionic strength solution, albumin, polyethylene glycol, and proteolytic enzymes. 
Antibody Screening The Coombs test was first described in 1945 by Cambridge immunologists Robin Coombs, Arthur Morant, and Rob Race. Historically, it was done in test tubes. Today, it is commonly done using microarray and gel technology. Cross-matching Antenatal antibody screening Laboratory method 2 First stage Second stage Titrations Coombs reagent Enhancement media History